Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel, Rain or Shine. Thanks for joining us in this new adventure in one of the most spectacular places in the world, the Dolomites. In this travel video, we will share with you new locations focusing on Val di Funes, a quaint little valley in the Dolomites that you should not miss when you're visiting the Italian Alps. In our last video, we showed our unforgettable experiences in Castel Rotto, the Alpe di Siusi, and Saceda, where we spent the first three days of our Dolomites trip. Check the link in the description box if you haven't watched it yet. Like in most places that we visit during our trips, it was hard to say goodbye, but at the same time, we were very excited for our next destination. Val di Funes is located in South Tyrol, northern Italy. This valley is known for its picturesque villages located under the impressive mountains of the Audley Group. As a matter of fact, it boasts some of the most photographed churches in the Dolomites, such as San Giovanni and Santa Maddalena. Our first stop was San Giacomo, one of my favorite churches in this trip. Despite that this church is not as famous as San Giovanni, the location was very serene. I loved how quiet the surroundings were. We heard locals doing their usual morning job, birds singing, and the wind blowing through the crisp autumn leaves. Afterwards, we spent the whole morning quietly strolling around the village of San Pietro. There were very few visitors around, which gave us a more local vibe. We are going to stay on that BNB. I loved how serene the whole place was. There were no other noises but cowbells, quacking of ducks, and the farmers doing their daily chores. It was a totally opposite scene to what most people experience in the big city life. It was a great opportunity for us to get away from the hustle and bustle of the modern world. Before the sun set, we calmly walked to the viewpoint overlooking Santa Magdalena, one of the most famous scenes of the Dolomites. From the top, we watch how the last sun rays painted with gold colors the charming farms, vibrant trees, and imposing alps. A dreamy view that we will never forget.
While China was filming sunrise, I ate my breakfast alone. At first, I felt uncomfortable by the silence. I opened my phone, but then I thought that this was the quiet life I had been dreaming of. I turned off my phone and let the deafening silence take over. Buongiorno. It's our second day here in Val di Funes. Chano came here early in the morning to shoot some sunrise videos and photos while I was eating a delicious breakfast. Behind me is the very famous San Giovanni Church. This is one of the most well-known churches here in the Dolomites. You have to pay 4 euros to park your car near this location and another 4 euros to get near the church. But we're not gonna go near the church since you cannot go inside. There are nice trekking routes in Val di Funes, but we were tired so we decided to drive to Val Badia to film the little villages of Laval. We stopped in a great pizzeria to have lunch before reaching our destination. Unfortunately, the road to the churches that we were supposed to visit was closed and we didn't have time to drive around the alternative one. That's the dog that you want to have? So beautiful. Look, he likes it when I touch on the side. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. So big. So beautiful. You're a very beautiful dog. You cannot go to the town. The road is closed. It's okay. I can stay with him. He's like a lion. He's so big. I am so a... calm. <laughs> it's so heavy. You cannot come with us. You wanna bring it home? You wanna go inside the park? Eh? You want? <laughs> we were able to use the drone to film some clips of the valley. We promise we will be back in Valbadia to explore properly this incredible area in the future. To get to Val de Funes, we chose the scenic mountain road that crossed through the Paso del Herbe, a perfect location to admire the stunning Sas de Putia mountain. We returned to the same viewpoint over Santa Magdalena. We got few more clips and then we put the cameras away held hands and enjoyed together the sunset. Thank you so much for watching. Please help support our channel by clicking the like and subscribe buttons. for our next video because we will show you some of the most beautiful lakes and more epic views in the Dolomites. Until next time, keep exploring rain or shine.